What up y'all, it's me, Sister Girl Tuesday, back at it again with another video, filming in the great outdoors. So today, I am gonna do a review for you on Mac and Yee's The Jalapeno Flavor. So if you don't know Mac and Yee's, it is a plant-based uh, macaroni and cheese. And so I heard a lot of good things about it from my friends who visit Whole Foods and from other people on the interwebs. And so I decided, you know what? I liked mac and cheese before I became vegan-ish. Let's see what this is talking about. So I'm gonna show you how I made it and then how I plated it and then come back with my reviews. So let's get it. All right, I'm just gonna get started by lining my nine by seven baking dish with some parchment paper. And then I've got my mac and cheese and I'm gonna follow the instructions on the packaging. I'm going to empty the entire contents of the bag into my baking dish. Next, I'm gonna take my plant-based milk. I'm using one third cup of unsweetened almond milk. You can choose to use water if that's your thing. And then you just wanna spread it out and make sure that it's pushed up against the sides of your baking dish. You're gonna put it in your oven that's been preheating at 325 degrees for 50 to 60 minutes. Here's what mine looked like at 50 minutes and I was like, mm, it needs some more time and some more heat. So here's it at 60 minutes. Then I just went ahead and plated it up with some other goodies, all vegan of course. All right, I'm gonna break it down for you sharing things that I really liked and some things where it could be improved for my liking. So. Let me start with something that I really like. Let me just say this. I liked the ease of preparing the mac and cheese. Was that a bar? No, I ain't a rapper. But I like that it's just dump, add your milk or water, bake. That's it. I really enjoyed how easy it was to prepare. Now I will say that I thought that it was kind of oily. I don't know if you guys remember watching me put it into the bakeware, but there was a lot of oil and it didn't bake out. And so that kind of made it messy. I was not a fan. But when it goes back to things that I did like, I liked the creaminess and the texture of the mac and cheese. It was reminiscent of real macaroni and cheese, like the way that it baked with a little, little crisp on top. I enjoyed that. Um, but I will say for it to be jalapeno mac and cheese, I wasn't feeling the heat. I think it could have used a little a little seasoning, um, <clears throat> salt. So I, uh, that day we had some fried uh, vegan chicken, some fried tofu, which gave us the salt back. And if you're eating it by itself, if you want a pro tip for me to really set it off and make it poppin', go ahead and add some pico de gallo seasoning. You just can't go wrong when you add pico on top of something. You know what I mean? So there's that. And then let's see, we talked about how I liked the creaminess, I liked the ease of it, I liked the flavor. Um, you know, I will say this, going back to the flavor, if you guys remember watching my version of vegan macaroni and cheese, I used green chilies. And I will say that it kind of gave me that flavor, so not spicy, but that it's in that lane if you've made that recipe and you're looking for something to compare it to. I will say my last uh, con or area of improvement is the price point it's a little pricey for me so i don't even I, you guys saw how much it made like a regular pyrex dish size of mac and cheese and that's twenty dollars before shipping and handling so i think i spent a total of like 36 ish dollars to get this i don't know if that's worth it probably make your own but I do think that it's something everyone should try like if I went to a hot bar and they had this I would purchase it let me put it like that so that's my little review of the jalapeno mac and cheese um I'll be anxious to hear what you guys think if you've tried it in the comment section below let me know what it was like and also let me know how much you enjoyed my vegan mac I think I got an updated recipe coming for you soon. so if you're interested in that let me know but you already know before you go don't forget to like comment share and subscribe and i'll see y'all next time